Welcome to a plasma engineering video presentation entitled Water Treatment by Plasma. My name is Joshua Alusam. And my name is Zachary Moore. Safe drinking water is not readily available to large portions of the population. Approximately 884 million do not have access to potable water. Roughly 20 people per hour die due to poor access to clean water. Therefore, a process which has the ability to purify water at a low cost, low energy consumption, and low maintenance would be of great value. The treatment of wastewater is important for the reduction of harmful chemicals entering the environment. The proper treatment of wastewater leads to improved water quality in surrounding areas and eliminates potential health problems associated with poor water quality. Common problems induced by poor wastewater treatment are the buildup of organic materials which reduces the flow in sewer pipes, causes corrosion in pipes and pipe works, systems can also become hydraulically overloaded and fail, hazardous compounds and biological materials present in wastewater will pollute groundwater and surrounding water sources. This presents potential health problems to both the environment and our health. There are problems to conventional water treatment methods. Common filtration techniques can still leave residual materials within the water. These materials would leave a sulfuric smell, an excess amount of chlorine, and a large quantity of dissolved minerals leaving the water hard. Water softeners such as brine can leach into surrounding grounding soil and render the ground infertile. Upkeep of filtration systems is expensive because organic materials are captured rather than destroyed. These materials must also be removed and either stored or incinerated. Chemical additives such as chlorine in high concentrations are not necessarily good for the human body. Filtration does not destroy all of the bacteria, viruses or harmful organic compounds. Processes do exist which can purify water without the addition of harmful chemical additives. Such processes involve the adaptation of plasma technologies. Types of plasma treatment are Thermal plasma treatment, plasma is used for the production of ozone, plasma is used for the production of UV rays, and utilizing water itself to create the plasma. Why is the integration of plasma technologies better than conventional water treatment? Plasma treatment is a chemical-free method for disinfecting water. It eliminates more organic molecules, harmful viruses, and bacteria which can lead to many diseases causing death. It can be used as an addition to conventional filtration processes. An example of a process which is capable of the described characteristics is the Chilean invention of the Plasma Water Sanitation System, or PWSS. Before describing this process in depth, we must first define a plasma and its respective properties. What is a plasma? A plasma is the fourth state of matter. In its simplest definition, it is an ionized gas. Ionization is the process which produces the ions present in the plasma. The ions are produced by electrons colliding with neutral atoms to form a positive ion and two electrons. These electrons are produced via two main processes. Electron emissions from ionization induced by electric fields and secondary electron emission. Electron avalanche is a mechanism which initiates the ionization process. It is a process where a single electron collides with a neutral atom and produces another electron and the positive ion. The two electrons from this collision will continue colliding into other neutral atoms and producing another two electrons for each electron. This process ha happens very rapidly, hence the name electron avalanche. There are different types of plasma discharges. Corona discharge. Corona discharge is an electrical discharge which occurs when the strength of an electric field around the electrical conductor is high enough to form a conductive region. However, the electric discharge is not strong enough to initiate a breakdown of the surrounding fluid or arc. It sometimes has the appearance of glowing. Glow discharge. Glow discharge is formed by an electric current passing through the gas in a low pressure environment. The formation of a corona may occur around the cathode right before the electron avalanche leading to the formation of a channel through the gas and the ionization process is continuous. Arc discharge. Arc discharge is an electrical breakdown of the gas, for example ionization, that produces a plasma. The electron production method which maintains this plasma is thermionic emission, which is the heat induced flow of charge carriers 
For example, electrons are ions. How can these properties of plasma be used to purify water? Plasma can be used to reduce ozone, which is an extremely strong oxidant. Ozone is produced by dissociation of oxygen. It is used to destroy bacteria and viruses, and does so by continuously breaking down organic compounds until carbon dioxide and water remain. Some advantages of using ozone are the absence of taste and odor. There are no dangerous byproducts which are produced, and no residual disinfectant remains after the process is complete. Ozone itself, as an oxidizer, is 50% stronger and acts over 3,000 times faster than chlorine. One disadvantage of using ozone is Ozone reacts with bromide ions to produce bromate, which is carcinogenic. UV generation. All plasmas which contain water will emit UV light. This UV light photolytically degrades organic compounds. UV rays produce charged particles in water such that charge accumulation occurs on the outer surface of the membrane of a bacterial cell. Subsequently, the electrostatic force on the membrane overcomes the tensile strength of the cell membrane causing its rupture. One of the advantages of UV light is that it leaves no residual disinfectant. Its disadvantage is that its effectiveness decreases with increasing water turbidity. Hydroxyl rapids. The plasma causes water to dissociate into hydroxide ions and hydrogen ions. These ions act as strong oxidants and destroy bacteria and viruses through similar processes as with ozone. These radicals dominate the oxidation process in water treatment. They are produced with the help of other oxidants such as ozone, and other energy sources, such as UV radiation. Some advantages in using hydroxyl radicals are that they can break down virtually any organic compound, though specifically related to biological processes, and they leave no residual disinfectant at the end of treatment. Pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is thermal degradation of organic compounds in the absence of oxygen. Heat comes from the plasma to degrade organic compounds. Productive species, a hydrogen radicals formed by collisions of electrons with water molecules, are strong reductive species. These species undergo two reactions with organic materials, hydrogen addition to unsaturated bonds and hydrogen abstraction of saturated compounds. Shockwave. The expansion of the plasma channel against the surrounding water generates an intense shockwave. The shockwave can induce pyrolysis chemical reaction, and rupture cells. Pressure waves can also scatter microorganism colonies within the liquid, thus increasing the exposure to inactivation factors. What kind of plasma process can take advantage of each one of these phenomena at the same time? PWSS, or Plasma Water Sanitation System, is the solution to the scarcity of bottled water in developing countries. PWSS was originally developed in Chile to be installed in small rural villages and provide clean drinking water. The PWSS currently installed in one village is capable of producing 2,000 liters per day of safe, clean, drinkable water. This system is of a very compact design. PWSS takes advantage of the many phenomena previously described. These include production of ozone, UV rays, hydroxyl radicals, pyrolysis, and shockwaves. PWSS has an advantage over other plasma water treatment technologies as the plasma is the flowing water itself and all the disinfecting processes are immediately introduced into the water. Here is the general setup of the plasma water sanitation system. The PWSS plasma is a glow discharge. High pressurized water and air are fed into the plasma tube. However, how can water be used to create a plasma? Typically, a voltage breakdown of 30 megawatts per meter is required for air at one atmosphere. Based on the difference in density of water and air, one would expect the voltage breakdown of water to be three times higher in the order of magnitude than in air. However, an extensive amount of experimental data has been collected on the breakdown voltage of liquid water. It showed that the breakdown of voltage in water was of the same magnitude as for several gases. In other words, the breakdown of liquids can be performed not at the extremely high electric fields required by the Paskin curve, but at those that only slightly exceed the breakdown of electric fields of molecular gases at atmospheric pressure. This is possible 
due to the fast formation of gas channels in the body of water under the influence of an applied high voltage. When formed, the gas channels give the space necessary for the gas breakdown inside water, explaining why the voltage required for the breakdown in water is of the same magnitude as required for gases. Needle electrodes with sharp tips are used to produce the high electric field strength. Electric field strength is proportional to voltage over radius of curvature. Thus, by using a sharp tip with very small r, one would not require a very high applied voltage to obtain high electric field strength. When the plasma discharge is initiated between the two electrodes, the medium between the two electrodes is ionized, creating a plasma channel. The plasma discharge generates ultraviolet radiation and converts surrounding water molecules into active radical species due to the high energy levels produced by the discharge. The microorganisms will be effectively inactivated while the organic contaminants could be oxidized through contact with active radicals. Other inactivation factors include shock waves and pyrolysis. However, PWSS has a few disadvantages. A very sharp needle is required for the electrode in order to achieve a larger electric field with a minimum applied voltage. A very sharp tip will be quickly eroded by a discharge. This results in the production of metal oxide nanoparticles that are difficult to be removed due to their very small sizes. Their potential danger to human health is not clearly known. However, PWSS has clear advantages over chlorination and standalone filtration processes. Chlorination although easily available, has common taste and odor problems and does not kill all of the harmful bacteria and viruses. Filtration processes on their own do not eliminate harmful microorganisms. As filtration traps solid particulates, filters must be constantly replaced and cleaned. In many ways, PWSS is the better water purification method. However, wastewater treatment should include filtration to remove large particles followed by plasma treatment to produce a safe drinking water. PWSS has many opportunities for the future. PWSS requires a very small power supply. It has similar power requirements of a 100 watt bulb. There are no harmful chemical additives that are involved in the treatment process. The process effectively destroys approximately 99.99% of bacteria and microorganisms. It is cheap to maintain and produce. The setup is small and simple. The process helps reduce pollution and water-related diseases. PWSS was developed in Chile and has already been implemented and tested. The implementation was well received by locals. PWSS is not perceived to be rendered obsolete in the future as it was well developed to provide clean and safe potable water by minimizing energy consumption and production costs. It is a very low risk process involving low power outputs. The plasma is a non-thermal plasma which operates at low temperatures. The safety requirements for the operation of the PWSS only goes as far as keeping clear of the live electrode and then placing a polycarbonate sheeting around where the plasma can be viewed for protection from UV radiation. Research is currently being conducted for other potential uses of PWSS. Fields of research are with water sanitation systems for salmon farming, whereby plasma water treatment is used for the sanitation of water for salmon farms in all stages of development. Another area of research is with the use of PWSS in abatement of heavy metals and arsenic present in groundwater sources. PWSS can be concluded as a viable solution for the treatment of contaminated water. It has clear advantages over other water sanitation systems as the future of water purification systems.